What is up YouTube, Frost the Hobbit in here, and we're going to look at the issue of Sonic the Hedgehog IDW issue 4, the first introduction of, of Tango the Lemur and Blaze the Cat. I've been waiting for this for a while, so let's get this started, shall we? We first start off with Sonic racing to a castle with the giant buzz bomber dropping off robots. That is a giant buzz bomber, and whoever's organizing... Ro Eggman's robots is really stepping up their game, Sonic says. He just hopes that he doesn't he'll make it in time. And on the as we can make it through the city, we see most of the fighters are fighting against Eggman's forces. They are holding up their own, but Sonic lend them a helping hand. Hoping that when he gets to the main battlefield where the big robots are. He realized someone beat them there. Enter our new character, Tangled the Lemur, as she has no problem taking them down as she is using her tail to grab onto enemies and destroy them with ease. As she celebrates her small victory, even though it hurts her tail a bit, Sonic backs her up. They introduce each other, they get along pretty well. And, the t and their team up is really outstanding, to be honest. Her her using her tail to take down enemies while leading Sonic to do a homing attack on all the robots in their way. Until they run up to an egg pond riding on a motor bug. Either break it to you, egg pond, but the one of the hard boiled heavies made it awesome in Sonic Mania. They dodge the attack as they take cover and Tangle suppose that they have that Sonic has any um, allies from the resistance to help them out Sonic replied they pretty sure they're busy with the similar attacks everywhere so it's they look like they're on their own not until a fiery tornado takes them out and enters one of my favorite characters blaze the cat like I said she is one of my favorite characters, and because of her, my character, Frost the Hobbit, and who I am, my ice powers works the same way as her fire powers. That's what my character is based on. My character is a Hobbit who has ice powers, she has fire. And Sonic is happy to see her, and Tangle is kind of surprised, and basically a fangirl wondering what is going on. And... Blaze the Cat knowing that since Eggman's robots are here, she knew Sonic would be involved in as well. And he, Sonic knows, and Sonic is happy to see her again, and wanted to see if she can, he, she can help him out taking out these robots. Blaze is happy to help out, with the little image of Sonic with a thumbs up. As Blaze does her fire, fire boost to blaze through the enemies around, as well as her own homing attack with the axle spin. Yes, that is that is what her spin attack is called, the Axle Spin from Sonic Rush. And Tangle the Lemur helps her out as well. They fight, they fight, and they fight some more. And s the three of them really got these guys and the, got these robots in the bag. Blaze the Cat is afraid that these. That the three of them won't be enough, regardless that their rank, regardless that their ranks, that they are faster, that they they keep coming up as they are. Tangle tells them that these robots are coming out of the egg bomber from the sky, the giant egg bomber. Blaze and Sonic wants to know how are they going to get up there. Tangle got the idea that she wants them to hop on her tail. And knowing, normally this this would make Blaze the Cat a little bit worried because she is afraid of heights, a bit. But nothing to worry about. As Sonic and Tails grab Sonic and Blaze grab on, Tango swings her tail and sends them flying. Blaze the Cat grabs Sonic in a spin ball and throws him into the ship, giving me the best image of Sonic. As he just barges in the ship, 
looking like I am going to have a lot of fun smashing you guys to pieces. That face is hilarious. The, me, I should keep in I should keep in mind that the artist who does this is Evan Stanley. She's done an amazing job. She is one of my favorite artists. Right up next to Tracy Yardley, Tyson Hess, and Jennifer. They are one of my favorite artists here, and she just done an outstanding job. And the, and the face expressions are just on point. So I, I basically enjoy Sonic's expressions here. And as Blaze watches the Egg Bomber blow up, she finishes off with her own Fire Blast. I like to call it a flaming Kamehameha of her own. And it's confirmed that she can hover in the air just like she does in, in Sonic Rush. It's just one of the abilities. Yeah, she can hover in the air. I like. We should see more of that. As that was amazing. As Tango praises, that was amazing. She was worried if Sonic ever made it out. Blaze is not too worried as Sonic comes out fine. Seeing Flickies, saying that was a lot of fun. As they introduce each other, she Sonic tells Bl Tangle that B the introduction is that Blaze is Blaze the cat is from the dimension. She is the princess of her dimension and guardian of the soul emeralds, which is confirmed that she is from another dimension, not from the future. So Sonic 06 is not canon. I don't care what people says. I don't care what people say. Blaze the Cat is from another dimension, not from the future. They ruined her backstory in 06 just to put her in the game, even though she was useless in that. So it is confirmed she is from another dimension. They even said so itself, and yet fans still think she's from the future. Anywho, enough of my argument of being an angry. Tangle is happy to meet her, as Sonic wants to know what brings her into his world. She said that she felt the Soul Emerald's power calling her to help out on their world. But Sonic says, no offense, but you're about seven months late. Yeah, she was late on that. This explains why she wasn't in Sonic Forces. I, I mean, her. I'll be honest with you guys, her gameplay is the same as Sonic and Shadow. She can boost just like them. She, the only difference, she can boost like them, do a double jump just like them. She, her gameplay is the same as Sonic and Shadow. Only difference is she jumps higher and fire doesn't hurt her. I don't know why Sonic Team won't let that let her playable again. Oh well. T Sonic explains the events, the short work of it, and forces that Eggman took over the world, but they fight back and defeated him, and now the world is free again. Wow, when Eggman take over the world in the video game saga, it was short lived. But in Mobius' timeline, it lasted forever, and it never ends. So a difference from the Mobius timeline in the video game timeline for me. As they, um... As they, as Tango is worried that this is maybe just the beginning, of, and, and the war might be still going. But Blaze the Cat decided that she would stay in Sonic's world for a bit to help out as she can. As Sonic and Tangle, Sonic and Tangle and Blaze says their goodbyes. Tangle hangs out with Blaze the cat. Sonic says, after all that, he might want to take a breather. He took his breather, and he heads out at full speed. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah, he's not. He's not in the one. He's not the Sonic's not the one to sit still. As he leaves the location. Meanwhile, elsewhere, a villager is worried about a broken wagon. As little kid is crying at her wag that his wagon is broken, the mother just you know basically mothers are a familiar mustache, mustache, bald and McNose hair. Doctor Eggman makes his appearance, saying, "Don't worry, little one, I'll be able to fix your little wagon soon. I'll fix everything." Oh boy, the Doctor Eggman is here. And makes his appearance in this in, in issue four. I wonder what's gonna happen next in issue five. Well, stay tuned because issue five we'll see what this Eggman is up to. So, 
I am basically... This is a really interesting comic, as we, the introduction of Blaze the Cat. Like I said, her gameplay can be the same way as Sonic and Shadow is in Forces. Only difference is she jumps higher and fire doesn't hurt her. But Sonic Team doesn't doesn't listen to my opinions as that much, so they might it's gonna they won't make her playable anymore. I hope they do and change their mind. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this re this little review. What were your thoughts on this comic? Did you enjoy it? And what do you think Eggman is up to? We'll find out in issue five. Take care, have a great day, be safe. Like I said, Blaze the Cat is from another dimension. I don't not she is not from the future, she is from another dimension. Itachi Izuka even says so. The creators of Sonic even said so that she's from another dimension. So now that argument has been over with a long time and yet people still confused. Take care, have a great day, be safe. Most importantly, stay frosty everyone.